Hey guys, Johnny here of Crafty Beer Reviews, and today I'm starting a brand new series called Beer and Music, where I drink a beer and I talk about either a particular band, a certain artist, or a music festival or concert that I've been to recently. For this very first one, I've actually chosen Allagash Golden Brett, so this is a golden ale. They've actually finished this beer in oak folders with their House Britannomyces yeast strain, along with Northern Brewer and Simcoe Hops. Gotta give a big shout out to my good buddy Joe, or as you guys probably better know him, as Average Joe here on YouTube. And the first band that I wanted to talk about is Frightened Rabbit. Now, besides them being one of my favorite bands of all time, the reason that I wanted to talk about them today is because next week I will actually be attending one of their concerts for the third time. Actually, the second time this year I got to see them back in May in Columbus, Ohio, and this coming Monday I'm actually getting to see them in Cleveland, so a lot closer to home. Really looking forward to it. Now, for those of you that have never Heard of Frightened Rabbit before? Not too surprising. They're actually a Scottish indie rock band. So they're really, really awesome, though. I mean, if you like indie rock and if you like kind of just, I don't know, indie music in general, you'll probably like them. Um, so for this beer, very kind of like slightly hazy golden color. Oh, wow. Super, super big on like the bread and just kind of this fruity... Yeah, really big fruity notes, like candied peaches, like kind of almost like white peach, candied apricots. Definitely some like barnyardy kind of funky bread character too. Oh man, that smells delicious, guys. Let's take over a sip. Oh man, wow. That's really tasty. Up front, lots of melon, candied peaches, apricot. Really kind of juicy, but then you get kind of like this grassy, earthy, kind of almost herbal type of thing going on. Very funky, very yeast driven. A lot of like fruity, fruity yeast essers, which I think is where this most is coming from. Very effervescent too. Mm, yeah, nice stuff. So back to the band. So Fred Rabbit actually was formed back in 2003, but they didn't put out their first record until 2006. That was called Sing the Grays. And the first time I ever heard of them was thanks to NPR, yes, that's right, <laughs> from, you know, every once in a while I do listen to NPR, actually, as a matter of fact, back in the day, because you guys know I'm from North Carolina originally, there was a radio station called 88.7, which was WNCW, that was our local NPR station, and they always played a lot of really, really great music, everything from like bluegrass, folk, indie, to like rock and roll, blues, just a whole wide range of stuff. Reggae, I'm like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning on um, like Sunday nights, which was kind of cool. But I heard about them for the very first time in late 2007, right before they released their record, The Midnight Organ Fight. And the first song I ever heard from these guys, just, it, it was incredible. It hooked me right away. And it's just, from this day, it's always been one of my favorite songs. I mean, I've liked a lot of their music. Like, I've loved all of their music, but I've liked, you know, really particular ones that have always just really stuck with me. And the first one was called The Modern Leper, and that's actually the opening track for that. And that was played on, yeah, WNCW back in, like, late 2007. I want to say it was, like, maybe October, November, somewhere around there. First time I heard it. It just caught me up, you know, have you guys ever experienced that where you just have this really emotional connection or just something really clicks with you the second you start listening to it? Well, that's what this song did for me, and from then on, I was like, okay, I have to find out more music by these guys. So then, not long after the Midnight Organ Fight came out, I got that record, it was just... From the very first track to the very last track, it was just amazing, amazing stuff. Um, if you guys want to check out a couple of songs from that record, I would actually say, one, The Modern Leopard, two, I would say Good Arms versus Bad Arms, The Twist, um, God, there's so many good songs on that record. It's phenomenal. If you like indie rock, definitely worth checking out. Um, but that was the one that really got me back in the day. Oh, man. This beer is awesome because it's really juicy. There's kind of this light tartness to it. 
Super clean, very easy to drink. Again, very nice effervescence, keeps it like crisp, clean, really, really enjoyable. I like kind of like that melon, white peach, candied apricot thing going on. One with that like funky barnyardy type of character. Really, really nice beer. But yeah, so that was the first record. Ever since then, I have been hooked on what they've been doing. So I've been listening to them for a very long time. This year, actually, they released their fifth record, I guess. I'm really bad with that sometimes, guys. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, their fifth record called Painting of a Panic Attack, which was just another one that really, really resonated with me. And... And it's the kind of music that it, it's very personal because Scotch Hutchinson, which is the band's kind of leader, basically, he's the lead singer, guitarist, main songwriter, you know, he really writes about a lot of his personal experiences in terms of, like, loss, you know, relationships, breakup, heartache, just kind of all these depressing, the darker side of, you know, what we live with, you know, in terms of being a human being, basically. And he writes them from a personal space, but the way that he presents the music and the lyrics actually makes it to the point where you can interpret it how you want and you can really apply it to your own life, which I think is why it's always really resonated with me, why it's always been kind of something where I know a lot of people listen to it. I mean, they are an indie rock band, so they're not exactly, you know, like Madonna or fucking Prince or anything like that, but they've got a decent following now especially in the U.S., and it's just always something that's felt very personal, you know, just very kind of almost like, this is my little special thing, which has always been fun. And even though it's kind of this, you know, there's a lot of, like, depressing dark elements to it, it always makes you feel better, or at least it always makes me feel better, and it kind of makes me feel like there's somebody out there that kind of understands, you know, the nuances of relationships, of heartbreak, of just all these kinds of different things, you know, of moving, just, just these things that we deal with, and they're a really special band to me. I really love this, and I gotta say, this is a really awesome beer, too. But yeah, they're really amazing. So if you guys like indie rock, especially if you have not checked these guys out, I would say for anybody that likes stuff like, I don't know, the Shins and, you know, even, I don't know, I'm trying to think, maybe even like the Decemberist, stuff like that, these guys are really worth checking out. Even if it's not usually your cup of tea, they're just amazing. And I got to say, Scott's Scottish accent is so strong that it really shows through in the actual record, too, which is awesome. But they're also a blast to see live. Scott's really funny, despite, again, there being all this serious subject material. He's a really, really funny guy live. Like, he's cracking jokes, you know, they're drinking beer on stage. It's just a really fun show. So I'm really looking forward to it. I will probably have some more footage posted from the concert soon if you want to check that out. I've already did some, I think maybe two songs from their last concert, which again took back in May of this year. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Again, if you guys want to check them out, definitely worth doing so. I would actually start with their very first record, Sing the Grays, and maybe from there do Midnight Organ Fight and then Pedestrian Verse or Panic, a Panic Attack. The Winter of Mixed Dreams, which came out in 2011, was also a really good record. It's probably my least favorite. Of course, this is also least favorite from one of my favorite bands, so, you know, it's it's not something that I hate, but in terms of that, it's just not my favorite. If you guys want some other music to check out, I would say, oh, God, I mean, anything. Anything by them's awesome, but The Wrestle, Swim Until You Can't See Land, uh, Blood Under a Bridge, Get Out from their new record. Those two songs are both fantastic, and just their whole catalog's really, really great. So if you guys know about this band, I would love love to hear your feedback or if you haven't checked them out and you decide to I would really love to hear some feedback about that as well if you guys have tried this beer or something else from Allagash let me know that that down in the comments below as well I'm not enough beer today guys obviously and yeah if there's an artist that you would like to see me talk about or a particular album you'd like to hear my thoughts on just let me know I would love to do that Alrighty, guys, that does this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button, and remember, I will see you in another video. Cheers.